Hi, I'm George the Weather Dad. What a magnificent event we had on Monday with the solar eclipse. I hope you had a chance to at least view at least part of it, if not the total part of it. It was unbelievable. We were in Indianapolis and we were right there with the total eclipse and it was amazing. But now we need to uh, just start thinking about springtime weather. And right now we're in a very, very active weather pattern. Let's first talk about our Friday. It's going to be another wet, miserable day across most of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and points up towards the northeast. And, of course, temperatures are going to be somewhat below normal. By Saturday, though, we're starting to see a really nice warm up there in the central U.S., and that's going to start pushing its way towards the east. And by Sunday, it's going to be a little bit of a breezy day. You see those dashed white lines, a little bit of a wind uh, there in the Ohio Valley, but very nice warm temperatures working their way in, certainly well above normal. And these warm temperatures will continue to move towards the east. Now, let's jump right to Wednesday, and you can see very warm temperatures. In fact, there could be 80 degree temperatures in the Ohio Valley and portions of the Midwest certainly here in the southern plains, but some more cool air lurking up towards the north. You see that L there just up in the Great Lakes? Well, that's going to tap some of that cold air. And by next Saturday, you can see cold temperatures once again. This will put temperatures back into the 50s where temperatures in the Midwest should be well into the 60s. Precipitation wise, when I said it's going to be a mess on Friday, we'll take a look at it. Across uh, Indiana, Ohio, and points up towards the northeast, lots of rain. There will be some flooding rain, potentially even some severe weather associated with the system. This front sweeps its way all the way through the state of Florida. And California, you're looking at another system working its way in. This is on Saturday. You're going to have snows in the higher elevations there, drying out in the Midwest, but still somewhat soggy up in the northeast. By Sunday, though, a couple instability showers, not much. I think this is a little bit overdone. I think it's going to be a really nice day for a nice little grill out there here in the Midwest. Temperatures, again, well, pretty much should be at least in the 70s. So it's going to be a nice spring day. A little bit more rain still up right around upstate New York. And, of course, California and the West Coast, you're getting pounded once again. Here by Wednesday, here's that next system working its way in. There could be a little bit of severe weather in the lower Mississippi Valley working its way in the Ohio Valley and up towards the northeast. Snow back into the Rockies. And then by next Saturday, dries out, but here comes the next system. And as I said, we're in a very active weather pattern, so things are moving quickly across the country. We call that zonal flow. They start from the west coast and zip across the country. So we're going to have some dry days, and then we're going to have some rather soggy days. But that spring. Spring is generally a typical, very active season. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'm George, the Weather Dad.